to another video. Today is Friday the 16th of October 2020 and in today's video I'm going to preview day number one, the PDC European Tour 3 which more official title is European Darts Grand Prix which is going to take place in the Glass Plaza in Sindelfigen. There's going to be two sessions on day number one and it says the last 48 stage. We'll see eight matches in the afternoon session which starts at 12pm UK time and 1pm local time in Germany and the evening session has eight matches and it'll start at 6pm UK time and that's 7pm local time. So we're going to go through these matches at a little bit of depth and then give a score prediction. Sindelfigen is Paul Nicholson's home of the European Tour, just add that in as well. And the afternoon session starts with Mike Kovahaven versus Jonathan Worsley. Now Jonathan Worsley has been a decent player but I think that Mike Kovahainen will be too strong for him in this game. He's really upped it from the year before where he was a little bit less proficient on tour. He's then up to standard this year so far on tour and I expect him to get the job done by six legs to three. The next match sees Mervyn King take on Mindus Barakis of Lithuania. He's a solid player but not in Mervyn King's level and I think Mervyn King will get the job done. He's in great form Mervyn recently by six legs to two. The next match is Ricardo Patricio versus Luke Woodhouse. And again Ricardo would average about 80 but I think Luke Woodhouse will be too strong. I think Luke Woodhouse will average 90 in this game and get the job done by six legs to one. The next match a real interesting match. It sees Kai Gothrad versus David Evans. Now David Evans is in terrific form in recent times on the Moda Starts and the Challenge Tour where he topped the Challenge Tour and he takes on Kai in this who got through the, the local qualifier on Thursday so he's in decent form. I think it's a real interesting game but I think David Evans will produce a real great performance and after 100 in this game winning this game by six legs to four. I think it's really tight, but I think when the moments come, David will up it and produce his best starters of the match. The next match sees Scott Waits take on Jason Lowe. Again, a tremendous match for the, the pitch that's neutral in this, you know what I mean? The great aficionado of darts will really appreciate Scott Waits and Jason Lowe. Scott Waits, Lakeside World Champion versus Jason Lowe, who's very, very steady on tour. Scott Waits produced four 12 dart legs in his first round win in European Tour event number two. And I expect him to produce similar form in this match against Jason Lowe. I expect this to go all 11 legs, but I think Jason Lowe will edge this by six legs to five. I think Jason Lowe have that 97 average, which we all know he has in his locker, which is just his A game, but just consistently A game. The next match is Nico Kurtz versus Stefan Belmont. Now, Stefan Belmont. This is his third European Tour event. He's from Switzerland and he takes on Nico Kurtz, the local favourite. Nico Kurtz is a great talent up and coming. You know, he's only get better and better as the years go on. And I think Nico will be too strong for Stefan in this game, winning this game by six legs to four. The penultimate game of the afternoon session sees Darius Labanowskis take on Mikel Unterbuchner. Now again, this should be a very solid game. Both players, I think, will average out that 92 mark in this game. But I think Darius Labanowskis will be too strong for Mikel winning this by six legs to five. The last game of the afternoon sees Harry Ward take on Devin Peterson. Now Devin Peterson is the form player in the PDC, having won the last European Tour event and players to, played European Tour 2. It was a great performance. He beat Gerwin Price in the second round, coming from 5-1 down, winning the game by six legs to five. And he takes on Harry Ward. Now Harry Ward's an interesting one. He's going to be giving his tour card up at the end of this season. I think Devin Peters will be too strong for Harry in this game. And I'm going for Devin Peters to win this game by six legs to two. So let's now move on to the evening session. And we see eight more terrific games in the pipeline. We see Kim Hybrids take on John Henderson in the opening match. Kim Hybrids has played some decent stuff on home tour darts recently. And he takes on John Henderson. Void from the fact that he's going to play in the World Cup for Scotland next month. So what do I think is going to happen in this game? I think Kim will be too strong in the scoring phase for John in this game. I think Kim will get the job done in this game by six legs to four. The next match sees Max Hopp take on Piro Lubicek. 
I think that Max Hoffman in front of a home crowd will be too strong for Piro in this game. And I'm going for a comprehensive win for Max Hop by six legs to one. The next match is Dirk Telnikis take on Robert Marianovic. Now again, I think Dirk Telnikis will be too strong for his opponent in this game. I think Dirk will win this game by six legs to three. The next match sees Steve Lennon take on Mardis Rasmus, a really interesting one because Steve Lennon starting to come in with a little bit of form coming up to the World Cup and that only bowed him on even more for him. And he takes on Ra Mardis Rasmus. Now he's an, one of those players, he's either very, very good or he's got a level of gear that isn't as good. I think it would be interesting to see which Mardis Rasmus shows up in this game and which Steve Lennon shows up if it's at once carry on that progression of performance in recent times. I think Steve Lennon wins this game by six legs to five over Mardis Rasmus. The next game sees Marcus Buffler take on Martijn Kleermacher. Now I think Martijn will be too strong for his opponent in this game and I expect Martijn to get the job done by six legs to nil. I don't know much about his performance against Mar Marcus but I think that Martijn will be too strong in this game. I think Martijn will be close to that 100 average and play a real marker in this tournament to try and kick on from there. The next match sees Adam Hunt take on Damon Hare and Adam Hunt's been playing some terrific darts in recent times around that 95 mark consistently but he just hasn't been getting the runs in these competitions which the performances deserve in recent times and he takes on Damon Hare. Now he won during the Autumn Series in the PDC Players Championship events. I think that Damon Hare with that mental will be too strong for Adam Hunt in this game so I'm going for 6-4 to Damon Hare to beat Adam Hunt. Again, it'll be very, very close. I think Adam Hunt will miss a few doubles in leg number nine. Damon will take it and he'll step up in leg number 10 and win the game by six legs to four. The penultimate game of the day sees two Germans lock horns. We see Stefan Seatman versus Gabriel Clemens. I think it's a real interesting one because if this would be played a Players' Championship event, I'd go for a massive win for Gabriel Clemens. However, this is on a stage. So this brings Stefan Seatman into it because Gabriel Clemens isn't as strong on stage than he is on the floor. But I think Gabriel will produce a good performance because he'll want to show the reason why he's number two in the German squad and he's got his place in the World Cup. I think that Gabriel Clemens will win this game by six legs to three. The last game of the evening sees Chris Dobie take on William O'Connor. Again, this should be an excellent match. Chris Dobie is in decent form. And William O'Connor again is starting to pick up that World Cup form that was seen from him last year in little spells, but it's still coming to fruition, his form. So what do I think is going to happen in this game? I think it's another game that will go 11 legs. And I think that Chris Dobie will edge this game by 6 legs to 5 over William O'Connor. So that's me came to the end of tonight's video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up in the video and comment in the comment section below. And just like to congratulate Glenn Durrant for winning the PDC Unibet Premier League. I did predict that in a predictions video yesterday and well done to him picking up the prize money. And he'll take part in tomorrow's action and night day number two. So until then, I will see you then. Goodbye.